Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and the iPhone 12 mini has been out for about a month or so. And this is a phone that I think a lot of people really like, but initial sales may be a little bit lower than expected according to some things online. Now the thought about this that I'm thinking is I think it's because people that upgrade to say the mini or the 12 are going to be upgrading over this coming year where the early adopters are going to pick something like the 12 pro and the 12 pro max. And so that may be why you're not seeing a ton of these out in the wild. At least I have, and I've seen more of the 12 and the 12 pro out than anything else of the new phones. So it really depends on who the individual is, of course, but I wanted to talk about durability, what it's like to use, whether or not you should get this size for yourself, talk about battery life and more. And so the first thing is durability. Now this phone is going to be pretty good. I think durability wise for a lot of people because it's smaller and easier to hold on to as a whole compared to some of the larger phones. Now this phone is aluminum on the outside edge and has this sort of anodized or painted aluminum on the outside ring. And so far it hasn't chipped. This is the black iPhone 12 mini and on the iPhone five, when it first came out and I have one here, we had some chips on the anodized coating and you can see one right there. So they chip over time if you're not careful. And then Apple improved this with the five S and moved on, but they never really came out with a really dark black anodized phone again until the 12 or 12 mini and this sort of series with this aluminum band. So hopefully this proves to be more durable over time. Now, during this time of using it, it's been protected in this case. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know, I don't usually use a case, but it's been in this leather case protected like this. It's the MagSafe case and it does a good job. So there's no issues with the back of the phone or the sides of the phone. And the screen doesn't have a single scratch on it. It may have some fingerprints from just picking it up in this video, but there's not any scratches on it or anything like that. Nothing to be concerned with. And it seems to hold up well. Now I did have a scratch on my iPhone 12. I've shown that before. Here it is. Let me wipe off the screen so you can see it a little bit better, but in the upper right, there's a little scratch. I don't know how it got there. I'm not sure where it came from, but I haven't seen a scratch like that on any of the other iPhone 12 series devices. So I do expect them to hold up pretty well. They should be more drop resistant, but again, you could put a screen protector on these if you want them to last over time, of course, just like most people do. Now let's take the case off here and talk more about what it's like as far as size. Now, size wise for me, this is a super small phone. So if I put it in my hand here, you can see to get an idea. If I take the 12 pro max in my hand, you'll see that it looks like a normal size phone in my hand. So the 12 mini is way too small for me. And that's just my personal preference. And the reason for that obviously is my large hands, but coming from something as big as say a 12 pro max to a mini really cramps my hand up. So when you're trying to type, I could get used to it. I used to use an iPhone five, the original iPhone and got used to it, but going from a larger phone back to a smaller one doesn't really work well for me. So if I go into notes and then I wanted to type something like, hi, how are you today? I can do it, but it's my hands are just so big that they kind of get in the way of everything. And it just works better for me on a larger display. However, this is going to be perfect for a lot of people, depending on the size of their hands. So as you can see, like I said, this is a small phone to me, and then I can touch my fingers on the 12 pro max wrapping them around here. Most people can't do this. So it's going to be very different for the different users. Now, size wise, if you're coming from say an iPhone seven, for example, maybe a seven or maybe an eight, it may be a perfect size for you. And the reason is you'll get a larger display, but you'll get a smaller body overall with decent battery life. And I'll talk more about that in a moment, but you'll get a smaller phone overall, but a larger display, as you can see here with the seven and the 12 mini and with this jet black seven, you get sort of the same overall aesthetic, but you get some advantages with the 12, of course. And that advantage is the speed. You've got all of the latest processors in here and Ram. So an a 14 bionic with four gigs of Ram. So you get all the advantages of speed, touch responsiveness and everything else along with face ID. So if you haven't had face ID, of course you may prefer touch ID, but if you haven't had face ID, you'll have that option. So if we go into say a game like Minecraft, 
you'll see it was already loaded. We'll give it a moment. You're going to get great frame rates. You'll be able to play all the latest games, pair your controllers to it with iOS 14, and you won't have any issues with that whatsoever. So you'll have good frame rates overall, no issues there. And then of course you could play Among Us or Call of Duty Mobile, whatever works for you or whatever you want to use it for, but you'll be able to do all of that without any compromise or slowdowns. It will compete with the latest phones for at least a couple of years because Apple's processors are so fast. And then it has an amazing display. You have great viewing angles and the display is vibrant. It goes up to 1200 nits when playing HDR video and then also can record HDR video with its camera. Now, before I talk about the camera, the phone does use PWM to control brightness, and this doesn't seem to bother my eyes on this display. In fact, Apple's displays keep getting better this way, and it's caused less and less eye strain coming from the iPhone 10, 10s to the 11 pro or 11 pro max to the 12, it's better and better. And I have zero eye strain whatsoever with that. So if that's a concern for you, most likely, unless you're in a very small group of people, this is going to be a good choice for you. Even if you do have an issue where PWM causes eye strain because you can see those faster frame rates. Now, other than that, like I said, the camera can record HDR video, which is amazing on this phone. So if we move over this phone here, let's switch to say 30 frames per second so we can use HDR. And this may be so bright now because it's in HDR that you can't make out what's in the actual display on this video because the video itself that I'm recording this with is not in HDR. So it may be so bright that you can't see it. And that's sort of what you can see super bright as opposed to just normal video. If I switch to 60 frames per second, it can't do HDR in 60 frames. So you can now see the display like you normally would. But if you have an iPhone that's capable of HDR and viewing HDR, you get the idea that you'll be able to see amazing colors on this. And it's great for watching movies and video and the speakers are nice and loud. So the great thing is with this phone, there's zero disadvantages going from an older phone that's small to a newer phone that's small. You're not losing out on anything this time around. And I think that's a huge win for a lot of people. And then the other thing is battery life, battery life on this phone, because it's smaller, obviously is going to be a little bit lower. And so some people are having great battery life with it. In fact, a lot of people are easily getting through the day with it. Now I asked people on Twitter, what kind of battery life they were having overall, because when I was using it, I was getting about five hours of screen on time, which is pretty average for most people throughout the day, but you're not going to get the same battery life as you would with say a 12 pro max. So if we take a look at Twitter, I asked if you use an iPhone 12 mini, what is your normal screen on time? And quite a few people responded. And what I found is most people found to have about five to seven hours, depending on who you are. So Mark here from Mark's tech sent over a screenshot. Let me show you that. And he was saying six to seven hours and here's his last day or so five hours and 36 minutes and 36 minutes of screen off time. And he's still at about 75% battery life. This is going to depend heavily on what you're using your phone for. So if you're using your phone to record HDR video, or you're using it to play games all day, well, you're going to get less battery life overall. But if you're listening to music or just checking email or going on Safari or watching YouTube, it can vary depending on what you're doing. So you could get through a day without a problem for most people, but then of course you can charge it with things like MagSafe now. So you can charge with lightning and get 50% battery life in about 30 minutes. That's what all of the phones in the last year or two have done from Apple. And then now this year you have MagSafe. So MagSafe, you may either love or may not, it depends on who you ask, but you'll get okay charging faster than you would with normal Qi charging with MagSafe on the mini. You won't get the full speed compared to the other phones though, because of the smaller battery, but it will charge up in the same amount of time. You've also got accessories. And I think we're going to see a lot more of this in the future that uses MagSafe, whether it be more car mounts or more accessories and maybe wireless communication in the future for a portless iPhone in the future. And so I really like the 12 mini. It's just too small for me personally, but I think it's a perfect size for a lot of people. And so if you have smaller hands or you just want something that doesn't take up a lot of space to throw in a purse or maybe a pocket where a normal 12 pro max wouldn't normally fit or something like that, I think a lot of people will enjoy this phone. And I think we'll see a ton of these sold 
up until the next time this year or this this time next year rather i think we'll see a lot of them sold now personally i think the 12 pro is the perfect phone for most people as far as size you've got the better display but if you really want something compact that you're not really compromising on other than the lack of one lens which isn't really that big of a deal and that's really it it's a great phone. The 12 mini is highly recommendable and definitely I would pick one up if you're looking for a smaller phone. So let me know what you think about it though in the comments below if you're using one. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.